Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I know it's been a really long time. I personally feel like I've crawled out from under a rock, you know. 2020 has been so insane. I don't ever want to go through this again. I, and I know everybody else feels the same way. And all I know is that I feel really sorry for kids that are going to have to read about 2020 in the old history books. I'd definitely be skipping class if it were me. So today I am back with another review. Um, and this year, honestly, has just severely inhibited my sunglass reviewing abilities. So I'm really thankful to um, this company that has gifted me the sunglasses I'm reviewing today. Full disclosure, all three pairs are gifted to me and I'll put them in the description box below. Um, the founder of this company called Jade Black reached out to me and wanted to know if I would like to have a look at their glasses. And um, I did, and I really liked what I saw there for everything included and the price point. $49 and you're going to be shocked when you see some of these frames. Um, and they gave me full, you know, full creative license to just say whatever I wanted to say. There is no like catch or script or anything. And pretty much the only way I will work with a brand is if they've said, just share your opinion, you know, honest. And so um, that tells me that they really stand behind their products and they're really proud of them and they really love them. So um, that means a lot to me as, you know, doing what I do. So, um, I will put them all down below, and again, they were all gifted, and I'm very thankful for that, and there's no other compensation involved besides just these gifts. So, um, without further ado, let me get into that. So, first, I'm going to show you the packaging, maybe, unless I drop it. Um, you get, each one comes in a box, which, I mean, it's a storage box and a case kind of crossover, and it's rectangular, and it's collapsible. Um, and it comes in a cardboard sleeve with a thank you printed there. And um, you have Jade Black stamped on the top and Jade Black on the on the top here on the opening. And then each pair of sunglasses comes very carefully wrapped with a temple sleeve and a sleeve covering the lenses. Um, I just, I love when you have those little details. Believe it or not, some designer companies don't give you anything, which is a little bit shocking. Anyway, um, and then the cleaning cloth is also stamped with the Jade Black. I have not opened this one. I'm sorry, it's hard to see. Okay, so moving to the first pair. This is one that I wasn't expecting. I only thought out that I was going to get to, and they sent this one along too, so I could not be more appreciative. This one is, I believe, called the Scholars L model, and this is a round, and I normally don't do too well with rounds, but I'm actually loving this. I really do. Um, if my weight fluctuates again, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I really do like these a whole lot. This is a 47 millimeter lens width, and um, the other dimensions will be available on the side if you want to see those. But yeah, this is a really sleek looking frame, honestly. This is stainless steel. Obviously, this one is a full metal frame, um, and I'm loving the black on black. So, you know, these look like a lot of glasses that are being made right now um, in luxury brands of all kinds, and these look like they were a couple hundred dollars, in my honest opinion. But they were only 50 so you know, there's that. And I think it's really great. Now, a couple of the other features are polarized lenses and a backside um, AR coating. You can see that here. Um, with this one, I feel like the bridge measurement doesn't really matter too much because you've got the silicone nose pads. And I just realized my other two do as well. So uh, really easily adjustable there. Now, I often talk about comfort issues um, and frames being too narrow and too tight and me having to go through all sorts of adjustments. If you've been with me for a while, you'll know that. These are comfortable right off the bat, especially for having a pretty narrow lens width. The frame is still wide set and it's still comfortable enough that this would probably suit all heads, all sort of head shapes and sizes. And I love that fact. The temple tips are acetate, so you could heat these and adjust them to conform more to your head if you have a smaller head. So um, these are also stamped with the JB up there in the top right corner, your left. And um, as far as like the structural integrity, just like how durable they feel, very much. There's no creaking at all. Just with me opening the temples, they're of very even tension. I mean, it's it feels very well crafted and there's no sort of like, you know, creaking or squeaking going on anywhere. And that's something that you will find quite a bit. And you'll be familiar with that if you're into sunglasses. Okay, the next pair is the Bellas. And this is a nice oversized club master, club round sort of shape. Um, you can see it here. I'm not sure about the lens width on this, but I think it's 55. 
Um, I like to just kind of try to say it, but when I'm trying to keep up with three pairs, I'm getting a little mixed, so I'm sorry about that. So this is black with a gold rim and gold rivets and a gold bridge, and I think complements the black really nicely. It's not like a pale gold, but it's not like really orangey. It's got a really high quality color to it. Um, a lot of brands, you know, you can kind of, it'll kind of be a price giveaway with the gold finish, but it looks very high quality. It also feels like that as well. There's no, it's just completely smooth. Honestly, if I went into Sunglass Hut and picked anything from Luxottica, I mean, it would feel, this would feel just as good or better than that. So um, what I like too is how sturdy the hinges are. Again, it's the same feel. They're both even tension. It's incredibly high quality. It just like opens and closes with this real smoothness. There's no catching, there's no, I mean, it's really amazing. You can see there, there's a couple of screws helping set the metal rim into the acetate. And again, when I give this gentle movements, no creaking, no squeaking. It's everything is so sturdy. I love, again, the silicone nose pads. It's perfectly um, adjustable, but, you know, I found that with all three of the pairs, I didn't have to do any adjustments. So I feel that quality control is really good as well, and I just don't have anything negative to say about any of these um, frames in their construction at all. So, um, again, this is a wide set frame, so it feels extremely comfortable. I can wear this with no sort of discomfort at all. Like there's nothing I feel like I would adjust even if I could make little tweaks and I'm very OCD about that. So again, I can't say enough. This one's beautiful as well. This also comes in a tortoise, but, um, I really like the black on that one. Now, this one is my favorite, I think. Oh, I don't know. I, I like them all, but this one is called um, St the Starks. And I don't know if you can see, but look at this like striped grayish blue. It's absolutely beautiful. The color transparency and the richness and everything is something I really love. I love this like square club master thing. Um, not a lot of companies offer something like this. If they do, it's not this wide. And um, I, I like something that's a little bit oversized, so this is perfect. I'm not sure about the lens width on this. I wonder if I can pick it up real quick. No, but it will be down below. Sorry about that. Um, again, same quality. These honestly feel, this pair feels even stronger than the last. No creaking, no movement. Hinges, extremely high quality. Um, and it feels like they're built like a tank. So I can't say anything better about these frames. This feels, these all feel like they were at least priced at 150. So, I mean, are upwards of that. So I think that they're doing such a good job with that. Um, the only thing that I would mention about the glasses, it's a little detracting and it's like my only con, but it's really not that big of one, is the backside AR coating is quite a thick, vivid, bold blue. So what I've found when I'm driving is that I do see the reflection quite a lot and I'm seeing more the reflection than I am, what am I trying to say? I get a bit of like bounce back of that more than I do of the light that might possibly be coming in from the back. So, uh, and I'm not sure if it's again one of those things because of my sensory issues or if, if it would be noticed by somebody else, but I thought I would mention that in case anybody else, you know, is interested what that's like. Um, I feel like they are very dark. They're very good at preventing glare and the really bright sun, which I'm experiencing right now. But they're, um, the coating affects me mostly in the bottom corners. So I don't know, again, if that's just me. Thought I'd throw it out there. Um, other than that, there's nothing else that I would mention. Um, I think that they're absolutely great and I'm very thankful that they um, wanted to wanted to have me check out their glasses. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and I, I'm sorry it was so long. I take forever just on one pair, so I don't know what I was expecting with three. Um, but I hope everybody is doing okay at this point in time. And I know it's just, it's like a tough year and I'm really glad it's half over. I know that sounds kind of bad. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer. I always like to interact with you all and I will see you next time. Thanks so much.